What's up guys, we're back again with part two of the gun split out of the run balance offense. This video is gonna be going over shakes. And the first thing, uh, you know, you can run it with the motion that we showed you for uh, running the, um, the fullback inside. You can see that we're able to get the ball behind the cloud flats. Um, and it's, it actually develops a little bit quicker because the running, uh, I'm sorry, the receiver is already in that motion. So you notice we hike him as soon as he passes. Um, we can either throw it to the left or the right, depending on um, which side of the field that they're using. And the reason we're doing this is because we're using the motion uh, with the uh, run uh, that we use for the fullback inside. But you don't have to motion him. Um, that's not required for this play. But you see, we're just reading if the cloud flat plays underneath or if he plays uh, over the top. We're just going to dump it off or hit him uh, big. The next adjustment is putting the C route on the same side as the other receiver on a slant. You see, instead of them uh, trying to guard the slant, we had, I mean, the C route, we had the slant underneath. And what's so great about this is if they try and use her, uh, they try to actually jump to cover the C route when it's a slant, you actually have them beat on the slant. Um, but if they do play low and try and cover the slant underneath, you see we have the post route getting behind them as well. Um, so they can't use her both of the players at the same time. So they have to pick which one. And you just want to go to the opposite. And then, of course, if they are playing underneath and they uh, have someone manned up on the slant and try and take the post deep. We always have that C route uh, to the left side of the field as well. That's really good this year. Now you don't have to keep the running backs on those flat routes. You could actually put them on out routes, um, put them on fades, wheels, whatever you like. Those are actually your freestyle routes. Um, but you see that we're able to dot our opponent up deep down the field using the shakes play. Um, on the left and the right side of the field, especially utilizing that motion. They're not going to expect what side it's going to be coming from. Uh, next thing you could do is if you want to get that C route to develop a little bit better, you put them in motion and you see that we're able to get past the cloud zone just a little bit better, especially if they're playing over the top coverage. And you can still mix in this motion here. Um, if they're base aligning or something, you can motion him in and still run the fullback inside and get an extra blocker in. But you see, we still have the slant coming underneath. We still have the C route deep, and then we still have the deep post coming over the top. So we're flooding the left and the middle side of the field um, in this play with the setup. Uh, the other, Like I said, the other way is flooding the right side of the field with that deep C route with the motion. So say they try and cover this um, the slant right there. You see that's going to leave the wide open C route if they're trying to use that quick slant. Uh, and then the next thing, you know, if the, a lot of people try and use her, the, uh, the C route because it's really hard to defend this year. So if they do try and do that and take it away, what you're going to see is that the slant route, once again, you know, that's going to come open. And if that doesn't um, come open, if they try and do like some kind of cross manning, um, you're either going to have the uh, deep post coming across, or if you put one of the running backs on an out route, you can um, definitely get one of them open in the flats. So this is a really good play, especially they have to re uh, respect the fullback inside because it's such a, a good run because you could bounce it left, right, or middle. Um, and then if you click block uh, some of the uh, receivers or the running back, um, that makes it that much better because if you know that you want to hit it outside, you can uh, click block the receiver or click block the uh, running back to take the outside and get, her better, get a better angle coming from there. But you see there, we man up the slant and the C route, and then we still get the guy coming across uh, with the post deep down the field. Now the last thing, if they're in a cover three and they are trying to um, play some type of max coverage, um, to beat cover three, all you need is that deep post, and you can have a comeback route from the um, receiver on the left. Uh, you see we just have the slant just in case, but you see how that corner once again bites on the... Um, on that comeback route and we have the the post over the top either down the middle or for one play touchdown so hope you guys enjoy this quick video on part two of the uh gun split in the run balance offense if you did please be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel for more videos and if you'd like to become a patron for the best schemes blitzes and the best content in madden head on over to the link and become a patron today